Alrighty. There we go. Centered here. Welcome to the Lifestyles of the Strange and Exact. Been a while since I filmed correctly. <laughs> well, by the time you see this, maybe the other ones will be up. But I don't seem to like focus my in my <laughs> on my like. I don't know where I am. There. It's like I'm filming like this part of me and. Can't blame it on the weather. Oh, we'll see if I'm actually in frame this time. Vogue. Mm, this is over a couple of trips since you know, I'm trying to refrain from more clothing, but I sort of kind of end up with some anyway. <laughs> so I usually come away with maybe two or three things and not like 15 or 30. <laughs> uh, so I should just grab randomly. So the first thing out of the pile I got yesterday, <laughs> and it's hard, especially in flipping New England, if you can tell it goes bright and dark, bright. <laughs> then now they're on to the scare tactics after the tornado. Anytime you might get wet, it's like, oh, emergency storm. So, <laughs> so it gets hot and then cold, hot and then cold, but um, it's really hard to find anything cool. Especially in my stupid car. I have a light car, both in and out, yet somehow it's a sauna. So you'd be like, fine when you leave the house, once you get to your destination, you're like, Bleh. So, you know, I want to find something kind of cool and breezy. So I found this, which is like a see through y type of thing. But I wear sports bras so I can get away with it. Uh, I don't know, do people wear regular bras under this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this came with like another shirt. Usually they do. I don't know. Uh, and it's just sort of hard to hold on to here. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like a little tie in the front. No, because, well, yeah. <laughs> it was just buttoned strangely. And it's just a button down blouse. With the little 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 tie kind of thing in the front, you could probably put it as a bow or as a tie, and it goes perfect fit. And of course, these people you know took off the size here, uh, and it's a tag I've seen before. It might be like you know JC Penney or Macy's, Walmart even who knows. So I thought it was kind of nifty for the summer, and it's kind of like um I don't know if you can pick it up in the gloom of this room here at the moment. But there's like little stripes of like little silvery s threads. So you can just barely pick it up. And this was a whopping dollar bill. So we'll see how that goes. And the next thing is again another project. Again, trying to find something light to wear. And I want. And She's another YouTuber called Cats Loves Bats, and she had like a DIY on like how to make your own like tube top, tank top, shirt slash dress, which I don't know if it was her, it might have been a few, no I think it was Gianni something or other, but it's a similar concept, you know, altering a t-shirt to kind of do that, so that's what I want to do with this. And this is triple X, two extra large woman. So... <laughs> So I was hoping it would be kind of long enough for a dress. But I've altered t-shirts a little differently, but I want the actual spaghetti strap type thing. So that's now that I have room on my floor, I might be able to pull that off. So that's what this is going to be. And I'll have material for whatever, because it's a long sleeve thing. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of neat. You know, it's just a gray, and, you, and it's got these little um, jemmy things, which you know, are basically the same thing that are on my phone. I'm a total addict to this now. Especially with the whole shop kicking thing. There we go. So, you get, it's a very faint flower thing, but you got little, little sparklies on the front. And there's the same pattern on the back, but it doesn't have the sparklies. So I thought it was kind of nifty. And I figured, well, for a buck, you know, <laughs> if I screw it up completely, it won't be that horrible. So, that is 
a project to be done at some point in the future. Since I've got one project, two project, three project, <laughs> project, five projects, all going on at the same time. Though I am finishing most projects and, you know, the pile is going down of, you know, finished projects that are going over there. Which at some point I will show you when they are complete. Probably when I do my reorganizing my to be sold at Summerfest haul type thing. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Mm, what else are doing? Stick it there. There we go. Ugh, arm short. Can't reach. Let's get up here. Now, what the heck did I? Now, this had been there for ever and ever and ever. And it finally went for a dollar. And I seen it then, I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna fit. It's a it's a medium and it's from Bebop. And it's a little dress. I'll put it together so you can get the gist of how and I like the fact that it snaps up in, in the front. And I think it's missing a snap, but I have or it's missing the cover, but I have snaps like these anyway. But on the bottom I could care less really. <laughs> In their fake pockets. I hate fake. Oh, it's missing a thingy in the fake pocket, too. I have to dig out the snaps and kind of figure out what I want to do with it. There we go. And it's a little sleeveless dress, which looks really small and kind of sort of is. It'll fit over my boobs fine, <laughs> but, it, but there's no room for my ass. <laughs> it's like my body parts are just don't aren't symmetrical or something. But at least you can butt it, button it far enough down so you can at least cover the top of your pants. So it is wearable. And it must have come with a belt or something because there's a little, a little thingy for a belt. And there's some different dudes. Oh, yeah. He always has to have his cameo. It would have been nice if it was a little bit bigger, but I can squeeze my lovely curvaceous body into this. But it does need a few little repair jobs. See if I can remember where I put those. Oh, they should be in that box there. Hey. So I can just pop out the uh, pearly part and just probably just glue it in to be <laughs> instead of taking the entire thing apart since they do function. So yeah. I guess that's another project. <laughs> I thought the, the little pearly things just sort of, you know, brighten it up a bit. I thought it was cool. So, yes. Project pile. And this is, again, for another project. <laughs> I mean, I've got the bases done. I've got four four bases. I just haven't gotten around to putting any cloth on. And this I specifically got for um, coffin purses. Size 8 from, I don't know, the safety pin full of stuff. April Rain. And I thought that would be kind of cool for a coffin purse. And it's a, a dress, so there's quite a lot of material here. Even more so when you iron out the pleats, so you get, like, extra material. It's kind of cool, but these are really heavy. And I don't think I can get my button at 8 if I wanted to. So, I thought it was kind of cool. They weren't, they're not, well, I don't know what they are. They're just obscure, generic flowers. <laughs> but nice that they're roses, but I like the, the color scheme. You know, it actually looks kind of cooler on the, on the opposite side than it does in the front. <laughs> a little more artsy, kind of like colored pencil. It's just a long sleeve. Pretty dress. I don't know. Pretty sure I can't get my button in eight. But I don't know. Is it, it looks more attractive for a bag than a, than a, than a, you know, than a dress. I don't know. Huh. It buttons down here, and then you end up with the zip here. Huh. Which would be more convenient there than it would be in the, in the back, which always annoys me. The side's awkward, too, because you always end up pitching your boob in there. Yep. They just made dresses that fit people. You wouldn't need these extra things, would you? Now, this third... There. 
the last and amongst the pile of stuff stay it's something that I came across and I'm like yeah, it's another bag but it looked really cool and I'm like well I don't get it and kind of walked by it and it was still there the last couple of times and I'm like but it's really kind of cool so I got it and it is this and to me it looked like a doctor's bag you know in the old-fashioned medical bags which I keep hoping to find really but this is the closest I've come to to like the style of it even though it's like a, a fi the fancy kind of um, tuxedo like the 70s tuxedo type fronts there so I don't know I thought it was really kinda kinda neat so it's like a doctor's bag it's like you know if Mary Poppins was a doctor <laughs> you know that type of thing and, and I liked the size of it too because you can fit quite a bit in here and this was three bucks which is what the normal price is and I thought the inside was pretty I'm glad they went with like the purple theme and it's a nice wide bottom so I have you know lots of room in here kinda wish they put like an extra pocket in here because it's just one big pocket with like your standard zippered pocket but at least you have one for like you know, your cell phone but uh, you know, I kind of like two because I have my camera and my cell phone, so I like the two two pockets. And this did come with a thin strap at one time. So, I don't know if I can make one. I don't know, but I thought I had, you know, with the vast amounts of stuff I have, I think I have one that kind of has those clippy thingies. So, I could probably rig something up. Because after a while, you know, when you're holding this like this, your hands go numb. It's always nice to have a shoulder strap. <laughs> so, at least I have the option to put a shoulder strap there. Just find the strap. So, a nice wide mouth. You know, and it zips up, which is cool. And it zips up with the extra zippers both ways, so which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was nifty. But there's just very little organization there. And I hate it when they put the stupid uh, tags right there in the zipper. They've, they've done it in the zipper where it like totally, you know, destroys the function of the zipper. And it's like, you morons. You know, put it in, I mean, I kind of understand they'll put it in the handle, you know, whatever. But there's got to be a better way to do it than that. Ugh. So, that's my Mary Poppins doctor bag. Except doctor bags, I think, have a little more sturdiness to them. This is just sort of a floppy, floppy bag. Is it? I thought I had like a doctor's bag once, but I can no longer remember. And it doesn't tell me anything about it at all. <laughs> There's no, no tag in here. No freebies. Mm, found a paper. Ah, I found the tag. Graceland. Nine five four five two five three. Did this once belong to Elvis? What? <laughs> that, that's the only. It doesn't say made in China. It goes Graceland in a bunch of numbers. Maybe I have a bag previously owned by Elvis or Priscilla. <laughs> Or, uh, the kid there. What's her face? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a fan? I don't know. Well, that's that. My, my Elvis doctor bag, then. <laughs> and I guess that's it for my micro, mini, crazy, dark in the gloom haul. And I'm looking at, like, a blue sky with puffy clouds, and it's like, I have all but the one light on in my room. It's rather annoying. And, and, and it always does it when I want to film. Because I'm either doing something else when it's nice and bright. Or <laughs> it's like... Now I'm kind of understanding the reasons for the fancy lights everybody's talking about. Um, I don't know. The lights you have, it's like a big giant box. And it makes you all wonderful when you film. <sighs> something I will never own. <laughs> okay, now it's just mocking me when I'm just about to go... Thank you for watching, and it brightens up, and I'm like, okay, fine. Thank you for watching. Do comment, rate, and subscribe. Mm, I have nothing interesting to say.
My life has gotten rather boring lately. That's why I haven't had anything to film on. <laughs> Ooh, I finally updated the thing that I'm going to edit another video on. I think I shall shut up now. <laughs> See you all next time. Bye.